welcome back everybody uh, I thought I just thought I'd show this quick solution here because I've decided I'm gonna take this chuck off I'm gonna go for the four jaw chuck try to see if I can uh, dial the headstock in I'm trying to do some tuning because I want to get some good accurate cuts and stuff so I already did try to make some adjustments but I decided I'm gonna put the four jaw chuck in and try to do it super accurate with that because you know with the scrolling chuck I may be off a little bit and that could be causing me some issues anyway so you have to take the chuck off and let me show you what I, I come up with let me see if I can get this uh, how can I do this well I thought I had a plan <laughs> oh okay that might work I got my phone here and uh, I'm mounted up here I hope I don't shake it off on the floor Okay, so I made a little fixture because obviously that was one of the other things that everybody, you know, they get this in here, they try to get the three jaw chuck off. And I've already had this off and on several times. I put the four jaw chuck in, I've done some other things. I've had the faceplate on to check it out and stuff. That's why I got this one. So I had all the different options with those extra accessories with, you know, for, you know, this price. And, uh,. So yeah, this sucker was way on, okay? And let me show you what the book says, which is, you know, it, do, it does have a disclaimer in the book, you know, this book is sort of generalized, it's designed to go for over a certain length of, you know, time or whatever, for, you know, it's fairly general. But what it actually shows, uh, let me see if I make sure I got any in the picture here. I don't know, I'm gonna have to move, this is enough that way uh, let me put it up here let's put it up here on the tail buckle and see if this is going to work without rolling off or doing something like that okay so these are the two chuck keys that came with it there's a little bit longer one is for the four jaw chuck and this one here is for the three jaw well, what it actually says in the book, the instruction manual on how to do this, is you take both of these. The four jaw chuck is supposed to be longer and slimmer, and there's the hole in the side of the uh, the spindle. Okay, you take your these unscrew these locks. You undo these locks here and screw them out of both sides. Because it has a little tapered groove right there and you take those two out because that's if it were to try to come out which unless you're probably turning it backwards it's not because you're turning it this way where it's going to keep tightening and that's you know the reason it turns that way probably as well if you take those out and there's a hole right up against the headstock here there's two or three holes i think i think there's three actually i'm looking at it but what it actually says, you're supposed to take this stock right here off the four jaw chuck and stick it in there. And it's supposed to be smaller so it would fit in. But, can you see my problem? And I had the same problem with my mill, is they give you some sort of straight thing to kind of use as a spanner wrench, and that's just, that's just crap. So, what I did do, is because I have all sorts of parts and things here, because I've been... A mechanic and done some other things is uh, I just took oh, air compressor again. this is a main cap for just a you know small block Chevy because I had so I got several engine blocks sitting around and this is one of them that I believe was off the in one of the engines that blew up so <laughs> you know it's not sacrificial or anything and so I actually try to make it to turn both ways, but honestly, when you just spin it on, I um, they drilled it out too. So this kind of does a spanner thing, and, it, and it's right close to that. So I just drilled it, tapped it, and I put that in here, so it'll it just sit in here. Give me a second. Yeah, I think I need to fix that. My and leaks a little bit so it keeps cycling that on so I usually t un t pop it out of there and stuff okay actually you'll probably want to get close up to this so 
All right, so so we got this. It's just a main journal, main cap. Okay, so it bolts the crankshaft into the engine, engine block. All right, and what I did, see, I uh, I tried to one hole and actually didn't when I tried to do it the other way. So I, I drilled them up, but I'm actually not even using this one. You know, the second one here on this side. I'm trying to do two things at once here. See, I got the bolt sticking up out of there through the two holes. I got it in that side, and there's another hole. I can use that other hole if I was trying to tighten it on, but honestly, it gets tight enough when I just try to spin it that last little bit and kind of jam it on, and then just put those on there. That's actually been satisfactory. So I only have just been leaving it here. So, but if you were to do this idea, because uh, I, I put this up in a milling, or not, or a, well, it kind of is a milling vise. It's a uh, it's a cross slide vise. It's just just the the vise I have. Just any sort of vise. You just kind of set it up in the proper about that. I just kind of guesstimated. I didn't really do this any fancy. I just put a, a center punch hole, drilled it out, and tapped it. Just just right there like that. I just put it up in a vise in my drill press. And. And then what I do is, I usually have a longer one, but I just put a 3 8 one of these long extensions, and it fits in there real good, and I just hold it there, and then I do, let me see if this will actually sit here for just a quick demonstration. I'm going to move it, but when I actually, I already popped it on, but then I decided I was going to make this video, but then, uh, and then you put your T-handle back in there, so I can pin it that way and you don't necessarily need this this is just the easiest thing that I had I mean honestly if you had a big piece of thick wall pipe because I don't think you'd want thinner really thin wall pipe but you probably could cut something that's about that you know gosh that's, that's almost like a big two, two inch piece of pipe I mean you could probably get it pretty close to that size of pipe it wouldn't probably have to be exact and then you just cut it in half and then drill a hole in it you might have to reinforce it or something, but this this worked really good. And I'm just this is my like my regular tool. So I just see. And I I already had it slightly loosened. I mean I kind of swung it back on so it did have a little bit of pull. But see I just I just push it this way and pull that way with the other one and then it just comes loose. And that's uh that's all I had to do. And and obviously when I have this board here and Honestly, I did say I was going to move this, and I didn't, because I just was kind of showing it there. So, let me just spin this one off. everything go flying of course this one's lighter it's smaller because the four jaw chuck is a was a five jaw chuck or five inch three jaw chuck scrolling chuck that this comes with and this is the independent four jaw chuck which is a six and a half six and a quarter something like that But obviously, independent ones you can get more accurate than a three-jaw scrolling chuck, you know, according to everybody, and I believe them. So I'm about there. I just you know, let me hold this because it's kind of swinging the, the friction. I just kind of swing it on, just like that. When I put, I got the board, I'm sitting on a board right here, just a leftover piece of this, uh, uh, AFB board, or, no, that's the chip board. This is just like that particle board or whatever. I just got, took like a shelf thing that this whole thing is sitting on, because the one that was all weather warped and stuff, and got a bunch of water on the board that the, this came with, so I just got this, drilled some holes in it, mounted my lathe on this. So I got a little strip that this is left on, and I've just been using this as, uh, to protect my ways when I'm moving the stuff off and on it because you definitely don't want to bang them up if you're trying to keep everything accurate so 
And then obviously, you, know, you just put your locks back on, screw them. I'll see. And then when I'm ready, because obviously, you know, if you're just doing some stuff and you don't need to be super accurate scrolling, you know, I, I understand they probably have some more accurate ones because they're like, you know, different three jaw chucks. I could probably, well, since this is just a eight threads print, I think it is, inch and three quarter thread, I can get another different plate. You know, might be good practice. I could probably put any different kind of size of chuck on here. You know, I, I did kind of like that one, but I don't know, I was having some troubles with it, and it was probably just, you know, I don't know, a couple different issues. But that's probably normal. You know, scrolling chuck, you just throw something in there and just cut some stock down, and just just for the basic size. But when you're putting it in and out, you know, you're you run into different issues because you really don't have any adjustment. Of course, four jaw chucks a lot more set up, but everybody knows that, and you know who's probably got more experience than me, anyways. <laughs> who's out there? But that's that's what I've done. I just took a connecting rod, or not a connecting rod. I'm sorry, um, a main bearing for off of an engine because it, it's a hemispherical, or it's half of the circle. You drop the crankshaft in, and then you put the other half loop around it, and it just you know, it's slightly bigger than that, but it gave enough span over it. So I just made like a spanner wrench out of it, and uh, and it works really good. Because obviously, you know, if you're you buy this, you get the faceplate with it. You get the two different sizes of jaw chucks. One's a four jaw, one independent. One's a three jaw. You're gonna be changing the stuff in and out. I mean, depending on really what you're working on. If you're just buying a basic lathe, but you know, it's that was one of the features is this big stock of heavy duty you know four jaw chuck compared to the the other size of ones that grizzly had so i hope you enjoyed that video i hope it was uh, helpful give you some ideas and stuff so uh um have a great day